welcome to my channel on paper crafting today is day four of the 30 days of sketches challenge with Christy's beautiful life this is the wonderful sketch we're using today designed by Cheryl Ashcroft and I am going to use some vintage photos today so I have these photos of my grandfather when he used to race cars um, I don't really know much about this part of his life and all I have is these photos so I don't know when it was or where it was it looks like 40s 50s to me um, I don't know so here's some um, more photos of him with a different type of car but I do know he used to have a tire shop um, in Sydney somewhere and um, yeah, so I was into like the car racing and motorsports and stuff. So I'm going to scrap these photos. And I have this really, really old paper in my stash, which is perfect for this. It's by Birch. Um, it's called Veteran and Vintage. And it's one-sided and it's really, really thin. So I'm going to back it on this suede coloured, brown coloured cardstock. And I'm pretty sure... There's not a lot of that sketch that I'm going to be following. So I know my photos are going to go here, something like this, because I want to get them all on the one page. Now, what I am going to take from this sketch is the zigzag at the back. Mine is not going to be zigzag, though. I think what I'm going to do is dig out the old Cricut cartridge of, I think it's called Everyday, Everyday Paper Dolls. Who still has these? Don't use it very often. I don't know why, because some of these stuff is really handy and they are cheap, cheap embellishments. Um, I'm going to use the car, I think, the the car, what's it called? The road thing, and create a bit of a zigzag or a, a curved road in the background in a couple of different places. So that is inspiration from the sketch for that. I'm not sure if there's anything else in the sketch I'm going to use, but when I saw that, I went, oh, the road would be perfect. Other things I have to use is this Alter News stamp set, Follow Your Arrow, because I thought if that road from the Cricut doesn't work, I have different arrows that I could make um, like car tread looking things. I also have this Acacia Craft Class of 87 collection stamp. I hardly ever use these. I don't know why, but I thought I could cut out stamp and cut out that banner that's like winning racing cars then I have paper mania clear stamps stamping for him it's called and I've got this handyman here he's like got tools and stuff so I thought well he could tie in as a bit of a mechanic then I have some Kaiser craft upside down rub-ons no they were the right way um hang on they're just in the thing upside down I don't know what are they called on the move rub-ons so I thought this tire here would go down here in this corner really well. So, and then it's, like, it's got like the tires and some numbers and some old cars that I could use as well. Probably that one and that one. These are not quite right, but um, so I've got those rub-ons, if they still work, that is. And then I have some Stampin' Up! dies. I don't know what they're called, but it's got these... Um, cogs that I thought I could use as well and the outline of a car I don't have the stamp set anymore that goes with this unfortunately um, but there's a few car related things I could use like the the cogs maybe the oil can as a um, just as a, a cut out the car shape as a cluster base maybe and then I've got a lot of digital elements um, that I got from Creative Fabrica I have an account with Creative Fabrica for my business. So I use a lot of their um, digital files as embellishments. So I've just printed these on normal copy paper. So if I want to use any of them, I'll print them on uh, normal cardstock. So I've got those, which are all like car racing type things. And then here's another one, which is a bit more um, photo, not photo realistic, I guess. Um, I like the flag. So that's pretty cool. Some of these are in colour. I just printed black and white to save ink. There's an outline of a car and a driver, which is the right sort of vintage style. And with the digital graphics, you can resize them to whatever size you want. So um, they're really handy. There's more flags. 
Um, I thought the start, finish, and the, um, what's that called? A dominant, no, the speed thing. Um, then I've got some tire tracks and some wheels. And I thought of using these first along the background and then went, no, when I saw that Cricut one, I thought that's going to look, I think, better. But there's some wheels that I can use and then just a whole page of car tracks that I can print out and cut out the ones that I want to use. So that is what I'm planning on doing. I will be back once I've got everything together, cut out and ready to go so I can assemble okay, the so paper. Back. So I trimmed this uh, paper and glued it onto my base cardstock. So it's got some decent weight now. It actually looks quite good now it's got that backing. Now it is a very busy paper, but a lot of it is going to be covered up. So my idea was I have these roads that I printed out or cut out from my old Cricut cartridge. So I think they're gonna go rather away maybe, something like that. Um, wait that way. <laughs> okay, so I printed these out from, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I got a frog. My everyday paper dolls. And I've taken the page off. Oh, where was it? It was here somewhere. It was um, um, road accessories or something like that. Wait, it was right at the back. So if you have these old cartridges, I challenge you to get them out have a look through because there's heaps of stuff in here you can use really cheap embellishments so where is it here it is so it's the border and road so I printed that at two and a half I think I did or two inches and then I'm not sure whether to back it with the black even if it needs a back at all or the cream so I'm not really sure if I want to back it at all, I might just want to put it without any backing because I do have quite a lot of black embellishments to go on this page. So, um, anyway, so that is the row. Now I printed out or cut out enough of them to do three rows. Then my photos and I've got lots of embellishment classes that I think I'm going to work out um, to put on. Now the <coughs> Kaiser Craft Rub-Ons that I showed. I didn't know if they were going to work. They worked brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly. So I've got these cars uh, wheels. I've already cut a few out because I'm going to use them in different places. Um, also, the big corner one, that worked really well. And I've got the cars as well. So I, I rubbed them on uh, cream cardstock and then cut them out. So they're going to work really well, I think. Okay, and then I cut out using that Stampin' Up! die, some of the big cog clusters, as well as some of the individual cogs. Did that in the same brown. Then I used another cartridge in my Cricut. Oh no, hang on first. I stamped that clear stamp from Kazercraft, this one here, and coloured that in. And I'm going to put one of these wheels in the middle, like that. Just like a, a winning ribbon. Then I also used the Paper Mania stamp set and I stamped and coloured in my little handyman dude because my grandfather in one of the photos is tinkering with the car, mechanically tinkering with the car. Uh, what else? And then I used another Cricut cartridge and I cut out a couple of racing flags. So I did have the um, digital files. But I thought while I had the Cricut out, I may as well use it for that. I also used um, the Cricut. I found a trophy, which was really cool. So I think my needle might need a change. I've had it for like 10 years. I haven't used it a great deal, but it was second hand when I got it. So it's probably the original needle from 20 years ago. Got a trophy and then I cut out the heading now. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't know what to put for the heading, so I just went ready, set, go. It probably doesn't go with the vintage photos, but my mind was blank on what to use for a heading. So I used, I think it was a base camp cartridge. Um, yep. So I used the base camp cartridge and cut out 
the heading. So I'm now going to stick all this down. So we'll probably fast forward you. This is going to take me a while, I think, to do all this. And uh, I will be back with the finished page.
my finished page. I'm really happy with the paper at the background because it was such a really busy paper. I wasn't sure how I was ever going to use it. And then when I came across these photos, I went, oh, well, if I cover a lot of it up with photos and then add embellishments, enough of it shows through. I've covered that up there. Never mind. <laughs> um, enough of it shows through that you can see that it's a car racing themed background paper and it's a bit vintage. So I think it works really well and it's not so busy now because I've covered a lot of it up. So there we go. This is the sketch. A sketch. It's not the sketch. The sketch. I was using for day four of the 30 days of sketches and my inspiration really and all I took from this um, layout or this sketch really was these background chevrons and I translated that onto my layout in the road at the background. So the three roads at the background. You can't see a lot of it but there's enough there that it um, is a nod to the sketch and it doesn't overpower the layout. So it's just enough. Thank you for watching. If you like this, hit the thumbs up, thumbs up. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notify bell so you know when my next video comes up. Thanks so much for watching and have a scrap every day. Bye bye.